1051. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. I mean you heard. I mean you heard. <laughs> We got a special guest in the building. Yes, it's sir. my guy, Poppy. Uh, Poppy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Poppy yes. from Left Rat Queens. Noriega. What up, Nori? And, and I'm finally, like, really promoting something this time. Like, I'm always up here bull, right? Oh, yeah. promoting a mixtape or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is a real... Oh, sh- can you, you're not on point at all, man. We're supposed to have the albums out. We got. We worried about the liquor first. We're I know. Even, yeah. So what is this? Poppy Rosado and Poppy Dolciato? <laughs> something like... You know, I can't pronounce that sh- I just call it Moscato, you know what I mean? Because okay. cause I, I've been in the Moscato. I, I've, I've started out like a Pinot Grigio um, Chardonnay dude mm-hmm. because, you know, Chardonnay, that's the only choice you got on the and plane. And the nutcrackers as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about my wine expeditions. <laughs> so, okay. um, and I, I, I bumped into this company and I was like, you know, we could we could do a collaboration, you know what I mean? And, a collaboration. Uh, collaboration, okay. you know what I'm saying? And um, it's popping. Also, let me, I want big up flat fitty hats, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keeping me late. You're like a walking billboard today. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what the crazy <laughs> thing is, a lot of rappers, you know, you do the music and then you want to indulge into something else. Mm-hmm. And you, when you try for it, you don't get none of that. Right. I haven't been trying at all. I've just mm-hmm. been working, being out there. Mm-hmm. And people have been coming like, hey. Right. I would like to wrench your head. Pause. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I would like, I would like you to, know, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not like, I'm with it. Everything is wonderful for me. You know what I mean? Now, how's the industry treating you? How is it doing a new album? Because uh, you kind of, you had to reinvent yourself. Yeah, I did. And I it ha- seems like it's working. Yeah, I have fun, man. Um, The thing is, I know I've been out 15 years as much as I feel as young as Chief Keef. Mm-hmm. You know, but the reality is that I am a grown man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's been in this game since I was 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I know the good or the bad, I know the ups, I know the downs, and um, the best thing is just me being my own boss. Like mm-hmm. That's why a lot of people didn't see you know, pushbacks, setbacks on this album, because I made my own date, mm-hmm. I made my own music. I, uh, the downside to it is you gotta pay for everything, you right. know what I'm saying? Like Even if a producer's giving you a, a free beat, you got to book the studio they wanna be at, you got to book the engineer they wanna use. Mm-hmm. And you remember Duro used to charge $5,000 just to you know be in Duro's presence. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and there's still people out there like that, but you pay all that, and then um, you get reciprocated by the, the hard work, and, that, and and you don't really get to split a lot with everybody. And I'm drinking Mona Scott Moscato. You can tell I come from Violator because <laughs> uh, I still got love for Mona and what she does. Salute, mm-hmm. Mona. Yeah, her mix. Now, also, mm-hmm. I remember mm-hmm. a, a, a while ago we were talking, yeah. Yeah. and I said, Nori, just don't get caught up in that old school right. rap. You know, right. a lot of artists, they get a little, yeah. little older, and then they right. get mad at the game. Right. And I was like, that's what you don't want to do. And I seen on this album, you didn't right. do that. You just embraced Embraced everything and, and the album sounds good. It's like right. a merger. Right. It feels um, like. Yo, you, you still ain't past the albums, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna be Sit honest. Down. I kind of, I kind of did, did do it, and I didn't do it because mm-hmm. what, what the album is called "Student of the Game," and right. what I really wanted to do was show people that this, this new school music. Is, isn't bad. You right. know what I'm saying? I can do some of that, mm-hmm. but guess what? I could also show you the roots of where I come from. That's right. why you do have a large professor track on there, mm-hmm. a Pete Rock track on there, because I wanted... And, and actually, when you compare the two videos to Tadal and... Uh, uh, my Built Pyramids joint. Built Pyramids is killing Tadal because right. mm-hmm. people really, they want that raw school right. hip hop, but you know what? They want it with a nowadays taste. Absolutely. So I wasn't going to be in there with the old gazelles and the, oh, I was going to keep it brand new. I had the Ferrari uh, Spider out there in mm-hmm. Left Rack City. So if you see the video, you see you see that. Like, so I kept it with a, with a new school twist because I just really want to do what I want to do now. Right. I don't really want to follow nobody's rules at all. Dope. Mm-hmm. Now you had right. a lot of um, right. a lot of back and forth with Capone, but it seems like yeah. you guys are are back on again. Yeah, I'm about to cut him off again. He just <laughs> <laughs> already nah, Capone nah, is nah. definitely not on the album because Capone is definitely not on the album. No, no, that's my brother. That's my brother. Um, but uh, uh, I, I, he texted me uh, this morning. But again, he, I, I, I had a video shoot in Queensbridge yesterday. He didn't show up. He, uh, what he is just, wrong with this guy? I don't know. No, actually, he be having the best excuses in the world. What happened? It's just I, I forget this time, but um, <laughs> like uh. You, you you know it's just that the world is kind of like it's not me like it's like the world if you're saying you're gonna give a CNN like cause I'm with it actually on my downtime in between Tormund and um you know this new album I don't really got nothing else to do like you know what I'm saying like I don't sell drugs on the side you know what I'm saying so I would like to, to do a CNN but I just can't make a CNN album by myself you know what right. I mean As much, I tried to make a CNN album by myself That'd but people told me that's a Nori album so I said I had to keep with it you know? You know so, pro- wait, so did you guys start working on stuff has he done anything yet you, you know what we were supposed to start working um, 
and he had he had one of those moments again. And but we've been speaking, and you know what? At, at the end of the day, I kid you not, and I know this sounds mad cliche. If me and him don't never do no business together, as long as we remain friends, that's okay with me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? As long as he can still call me, you know what I'm saying, and rank on me, and I rank on him, and I, you know, and, and, and we and we have like these little you know moments with each other. I, I'm I'm good with that because that's my friend first, right. and that's the thing with this business. When the business gets involved, a lot of people. A lot of people just let it deteriorate because y'all come back for the uh, the money. Like, Prodigy and Havoc, I don't mean to come up here and talk about them at all because mm -hmm. it's just we saw far be off that. But, but um, Prodigy and Havoc, when they went through their like you seen I was going at Prodigy right, right. because I, I knew that I could out-interview him any day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. So, I can um, out-interview him. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, But once they started to go through turmoil, I let off of them because I didn't want to have anything to do with a legendary Queens group breaking up. Right. Mm -hmm. So, But I reached out to Prodigy and Havoc when they did make amends, and I said the best thing that y'all need to do is, you know, take, take them bowling. You know what I'm saying? Like, go out and play beer pong. Like, don't do something that requires y'all to be Havoc and Prodigy. Their, their allegations were way worse, though, than yeah, I did. Yeah, but you still, and, and but what I'm saying is, if, you, if you're going to make amends for the money, y'all should try to um, uh, rekindle the friendship first. That's mm -hmm. my point. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people just get back for the money, and then you realize, like, yo, I don't even like this person. Right. Like, you know if what Capone had accused you of doing something gay or whatever, is there any coming back from that? I don't think nobody would believe that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, at the end of the day, you got to be a man and really, mm. you know. Right. Um, like, I mean, I, I don't think nobody would believe that. But we, me and him ain't go that far. But uh, right. we were close. We were close. <laughs> but, you know, I love him. That's at the end of the day. You got to realize that Pone is my family member. Right. You don't get to choose your family member. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and another thing that I learned that... Keep your friends closer, enemies closer. That has never worked for nobody. No. <laughs> like, that saying is, is absolutely made up. Like, yo, the enemies I'm from, I don't want to keep them close that's to me. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, the dude that's shooting everybody in the projects, that, right, right, that's me you. when I was younger, I don't want him close to me. Like, mm -hmm. where do I benefit from having him close to me? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that saying, I just realized that the other day. I was like, that saying is so asinine, now, Stephen A. Smith's words. How is uh, married life? Married life is cool. Ooh, man, I enjoy being married. I'm like, um, you know, sometimes I, you know, I get a little annoyed with being stalked. Because, <laughs> stalked because I, not stalked. My wife, my wife is just. What is she she's like? Search you, on, search you on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, like she just hit me just now. I was like, I don't like that picture. She said, No, 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 no. She said, Um, <laughs> looks like you had a nice video. And I was like, It's okay, because even if you had a dope <laughs> video, you don't want to be like, like you have to crazy. Good, you had a good time. And you just like. It was whack. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you know your wife. So I was like, it was um, it was okay. She was like, I didn't like your picture on Instagram. I was like, I didn't even answer her back, right. matter of fact. I just walked in and smoked That's a cigarette. Now. Yeah, <laughs> probably. You know what I mean? But um, I, I just enjoy coming home. I enjoy that space. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that trust. You right. know what I'm saying? And you know what? You probably would think something was wrong if she wasn't stalking you. Like, why is she A not? little bit. A little. Now I'm I'm, I'm used to it. You like, better not say stalk. Because when you say nah, stalk, nah, you're going to go home and you're going to have a And she's going to watch this. Too, she's concerned. So. She wants but, to make um, sure you're doing the right thing. Yeah, she, she, but you know what? In a certain way, it keeps me in check. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because it's like, I don't need to be checked. But at, at the end of the day, it's like, you know what? I love her like that. You so want, but like, you want cool. your wife to be like, you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I guess you guess. I that's guess. what you needed to check you I a little guess, bit. I guess. Yeah, because you were yes, a wild guy. You know, no, it's like, okay, next subject, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Miami great. life. Let's go to Miami, Miami life. life. You moved yeah. to Miami, so yeah. you've been uh -huh. there. You've been a resident of Miami for how long now? Almost six years, I think. Six years now. Yeah. So how do you how do you like Miami? I love Miami. I I don't I don't really indulge into Miami. Like I live there, but I don't really like play that role. Like when you hear people like, yo. Yo, these dudes coming to Miami, they got to, you know what I mean? They got to do this and that. I don't fit in that category because mm -hmm. I don't really, I'm not out there touching their women. Mm -hmm. I'm not out there smoking their drugs. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not out there, you know, actually living the Miami life. Like, when I'm there, I, I'll indulge here and there, go to the club, have yeah, fun. Yeah, I see Nori in the club at so Live. I, like, I go to the clubs yeah. I'm comfortable at. I'm not, I'm not really at the, you know, the that everybody else don't get me wrong you're not doing like live on Sunday no, I don't get me wrong I have indulged you know what I'm saying <laughs> right. I have indulged I, you know what I'm saying Lil Wayne's my friend and um you know, at times, you know, I, I, you know, we hit each other. He'd be like, you know, I'm at, you know, I'm at Sunday, and I'll just come through, you know, with chill and, um, yeah. So, uh, but I just feel like I live there as opposed to being like a part of the whole, you know, lifestyle. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the Opa Lockers. I got friends out there. I got friends in Overtown. But do I hang in their hood? Not really. 
right. know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I, I seldomly hang in my own hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm older now, but you know, I respect that. I respect across the bridge. Mm-hmm. Like there's, there's over, the, there's, there's the bridge, mm-hmm. South Beach, right. and then. The, Across the bridge is that real Miami life, and I got mm-hmm. friends from Little Havana to Kendall, you know, all the Cubans, the Haitians, and I, I love living out there. Mm-hmm. I don't have no plans of moving back. Yeah, I'm saying, well, I don't even know, why did you move out there in the first place? Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, that was, I was just getting divorced from my first marriage, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And um, I just needed a place to get away, like, well, I ain't gonna Start even lie. All over. And mm-hmm. then, you know, um, Poppy's you know, going to Miami. It, it was crazy. My, that, my first six months in Miami it was like hell, but like <laughs> the best hell. <laughs> like I hell? realized it was hell because I realized later when I was like, whoa. You know what I mean? I, but you what do you realize, mean it was hell? Because I, I was doing some... I didn't sleep. Oh, I that's that was when the Fat Burger incident uh, happened. No, this... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't sleep. Like, because I, I would be out there at 6 o'clock in the morning, the sun would hit me, and I would be like... Gold Rush is open all day. Right. And I would go <laughs> have g- eggs and Gold Rush and sh- watching lap dances and sh- It was a bad, it was a bad moment for me, man. <laughs> word, word. I snapped out of that, though. Okay, hey, good. gosh. Mm. <laughs> now, mm. you also have the movie. Yeah, I have the movie, which I have not finished yet. Um, but uh, Damn you know, it, Nora, you take my part like a year ago. Yo, you know you know what? When you pay him Wait, for you your... in the movie, Envy? Yes, you... I was in the movie. Me and yes. Charmaine are actually in the movie. Yes, really? You, you didn't show up that day. You didn't time. show up that day. But I wasn't invited. No, no, you, wasn't in, you didn't come to work that day. Yeah, you didn't oh. come to work that day. But um, I'm, I want to get you because you, you're, you're definitely huge at this point. You know what I mean? You're, she's she's a big... She's, yeah, yeah, she's I'm very proud of her. And yo, you, can, you stay classy <laughs> on Gossip Game. Well, Are yeah, you going to get that... ratchet? Let's turn the interview around. <laughs> Are you going to get ratchet? Um, I think I have one altercation, but it's... <laughs> get out of here. You can't you know, get she's away. not fighting nobody. She's she not fighting nobody. <laughs> right. But you know what's interesting? On, on the last episode of Gossip Game, right. actually, Kim is on there with her husband, and they're talking okay. about threesomes. Oh. And he's saying sex is so boring. It's just the same position all the wow. time. Blah, That's crazy, blah, blah. right? He, he got mad heart. He got he's a lot of heart. Stuff. A lot of heart. You, you know. He's the realest. Out. You know he got the mortgage every month. He's like, <laughs> I got it. You know what I mean? Well, you can say shit like that. So, and you're involved with the threesome? No, no I have nothing I to do with that. that. But uh, that's <laughs> Nora's now, like, why would you bring it up? Is that something that you're doing? No, I was going to throw it to Nori now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Now, I did. Let me tell you something. That's the You can't do that. First of all, my wife wouldn't go for it. Right. But, um, nah, that's the, that's the, like, even. I'm sure nah. you've had threesomes in your life. Yeah, but that. That uh, nah, uh, <laughs> it's, it, I mean you can't you can't have anybody with feelings in that, right? Because if anybody with feelings in that, it's gonna fuck up. So it got to be straight up, yo, Molly. Hey, hey, let's go. That's it. See you later. Great so you never you. had like a serious relationship with a girl and had a threesome? Yeah, and they backfired on me like you know like in the nineties. You know what I'm saying? Nineties. <laughs> long, long, long you know, time ago. Like, no, no, <laughs> let's be clear. Eighty-five. Yeah. yeah well, Word, after Melvin Flynn album, you know what I mean? <laughs> word, word. So you're saying that's just not possible? Nah, it's not. It's not. Not for me. I ain't, I ain't that ill. Like, there's certain men that's <laughs> ill. That like, Ill. when I see when I see dudes maintaining two relationships, like I always J. give them the... You know what I'm saying? Especially, it, it depends. If you got a two bozos, it's like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you got two, you got two great women, whoa, like, you ill. Right. Like, you ill, God. Valentine's Day, Christmas, like, that's got tiring like you know what i'm saying like living a single life and you don't know who to spend what holiday with you like trying to divide it that's just dumb you gotta just make sure you're working that whoa, day like whoa. yeah i got a show on valentine's day <laughs> and we gotta ask norris some stuff he's very opinionated when it comes to mm. everything okay mm. Mm. reebok mm-hmm. dropping rick ross you know um, the lyrics what do you think you know i ain't gonna lie and it, it, i might sound like the f-ing, like the date rape counselor of drugs Mm -hmm. but I see that shit in Miami all the time like I see I see chicks do it to dudes Mm -hmm. sipping Molly's in their drink Yo, I swear to God, I was in a club. And you don't night. say nothing; you just let it happen. I ain't know, homie. What's I'm supposed to say? <laughs> I, know. Like, like, I don't know him. Like for real, you know, you see these. They if got I they, saw somebody slip up in someone's drink, I'd be there. like, FYI. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just not that like. T- if you no, come right, up now to you me, know that's a crime if you don't report that. To yo, let me citizen, tell you something. I, one day, <laughs> good citizens. citizens um, yo, one day we was at Wet Willies, right? <laughs> and you know, some dudes I know, I can't show them say who. But they had a half hair, a half hair, half hair, half hair, half hair, half hair, half hair, right? So they're like, yo, y'all want drinks? And the girls are like, yeah. And the dudes is like, shh. So all they got to do is grab the drinks. Wow. And you don't even know. So they like, wow. dude, you 
down to the chicken sitting there, and I'm dying. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm sitting there smoking <laughs> cigarettes. 20 minutes later, the chicken's like, yo, y'all know who got Molly's? Because they Molly'd up. Right. Uh, they don't so know they, it. They don't know so they got Molly's. The dude is like, yeah, I got them. Sold his whole bundle. So I went to New York. You know, I traveled. I went other places. And it was on my mind. It was like, damn, yo. That was some foul shit. Like, yeah, you know what is. I'm saying? And I was like, yo, you know, I was like, damn, be doing some foul mm -hmm. Went to the club, came back to Miami the next week, went to a club, I forget what club it was. Yeah, right. Seen a chick do the same exact scheme. Mm -mm -mm. Like, just ball player, I don't want to say his name, because I don't oh know Oh my the gosh, Nuri, so you... I don't know the nigga, but he gave me that cold shoulder when I seen him. I'm like, what up? He's like, what up? I'm like, all right, cool. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go over there, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to get my bottles over here. I see the chick talking, I see... <laughs> 20 oh minutes God. later you see homie like this is my bitch <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't even know right, like right. you know awful. what i'm saying so uh, i'm gonna be honest now when i come to because i'm coming to miami soon i'm gonna be very Yo, careful watch. i'm you only by your drinks. Day drinks like this you know what you know what's real Niggas like this in the club <laughs> <laughs> like, like, man, that just made everybody got to be more careful. That's yeah. it. <coughs> so, 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 I get my own drinks, watch my drinks. So, so leading to what Raw said, to, in me, in my opinion, like if y'all was already going to hump and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't you know, the reason, that. The reason that, you know, it's it's kind of bothersome is because right. it feels like if you do that to Ross, you got to do that to every artist. Yeah. And every artist yeah. would say, shoot, they, you know, then shot somebody in the face and sold crack, sold coke. Right. So, you know, it just seems like... If well, gonna... no, the issue is that you have a corporate sponsor like Reebok that's mm -hmm. working with you. Right. And when you do something like that and Reebok is behind you and you right. can't say anything because now you're responsible. Yeah, you Ross has said some morality crazy stuff in his clauses. before. before just, no, he has, but then when the petitioning starts and all of that, yeah. you got to be... Okay. Yeah, I think he. I think. I think the biggest thing. I think um, he was kind of late on his apology. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? He should have. He passed like, after he got dropped. Yeah, like he. Uh, I think. Um, uh, although I didn't. I didn't take offense to what he said, but um, like if like as certain like as an artist, you're a painter. You know what I'm saying? So I like this is a blank canvas. I sit there and I could paint with turquoise, purple, or whatever, and I want to paint a unicorn. But you might see a horse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you might be offended by the horse. You might be like, what? the you draw a horse for? I'm like, nah, this is a unicorn. So if you take it as a horse, it's my responsibility as an artist to come out and say, yo, look, I was painting a unicorn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, cause, But you took it as a horse and you got offended by that. So I just feel like that's what he should have did. He should have just stepped up. Even though that's not what But you know what? what after meant, listening to think. your stories right now, right. it makes oh, yeah. me feel like that is some real nah, life things lie. that be happening. I ain't gonna happening. lie. I ain't gonna lie. I was <laughs> offended. Everybody then, be careful. And then I seen it happen again. And then I was like, but when I seen it on the girl side, right. that's what really was like, yo, this is a lifestyle. This is crazy. Out here. Are you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Now, Little Wayne, people are mad at Little Wayne because of the comments he made about Miami. Right. Allegedly tricked daddy, chased him out of a club. Right. How do you feel about, you know, what Little Wayne said and, and the um, people in Miami out there? Oh, this, that opinion of that is straight real. Wayne is a... The thing is this. We forget we're famous. Right. Like, his comments was like... Well, like a hurt fan. Emotional, He's right? emotional. Like it was like right. a hurt fan because you. What it is is a lot of us. We we get so much caught up in these games. Like I, like I, I, I drink in this bar called Duffy's, mm -hmm. and every time the Knicks <laughs> play, uh, the Heat in Miami, I go there, Nick tie on oh, and man. Carmelo's, and I'm yeah. all Puerto Rican. You mm -hmm. know what up? Mm -hmm. And we be in there. I be like in there like F the Heat, and they be in there like. The Knicks, yeah, what you, what you drinking, Ari? Like, it's Nothing. cool because right. we're all on the same side. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all, we're all, we all have the same emotional spirit. Right. But what happens, and, and it's, Lil Wayne having that emotional spirit, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you say it public, it make it seem like he said, F Miami, right. but he didn't say that. He's a passionate sports fan. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't tell me you wasn't watching. Who you a Giants fan? Giants, absolutely. Giants fan. You watching the Eagles, and you ain't been like F the Eagles. Absolutely. You wasn't talking about F Philadelphia. Right. You got you got love in Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it is. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, people are taking it the wrong way. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I didn't take offense to it. I, I can't really claim Miami like just because I'm a resident, right. but um. I see where they're coming from, but I, I, I'm also a passionate sports fan. Right. So I always say, F mother. <laughs> like after they beat my team. You know, I, I'm a, I was a Jets fan, yo. You know how horrible oh, that you is? You said, F every team. Yeah, I, I switched to the Giants. But, um, <laughs> but I was like, for years, it was hard. To... Next topic <laughs> Chris Brown Drake. Chris Brown. What should they do to just stop this beef? Well, actually, you know what? Drake just did an interview. I loved it. 
You loved it? He yeah. said, for any media out there, don't ask me ish about that man. When I come up there, leave that man alone. Stop preying on his insecurities. His insecurities Damn. are the reason I make better music than him. Damn. I'm more popping than him. At one point in life, the woman he loves fell into my lap. That and I did what a real N word would do. Was low. Yeah. And treated her with respect. You know, um, you know, left the yo, you know I, I go, let me just go off by <laughs> saying I'm cool with Chris Brown and Drake. And the older guy in me wants to say, you know what, peace it out. You know, young is chill. But the young in me, like, go ahead. Like, your light skin <laughs> is popping. <laughs> like, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? It's your like, light skin <laughs> so emotional. Like, not, like, yo, you know what? They young, rich mother. Man, like at the end of the day, it's, it's like they live in and they live in their own worlds. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to see eye to eye because right. of that. You know what I mean? When you wake up every day and you're the boss, you know what I'm saying? And then the other guy wakes up the other day and he's the boss. There's nobody who could be like, yo, yo, chill, leave that alone. You, you're, no doubt. It's all no over doubt, a woman, though. Let's be clear. This is all over Rihanna. I mean, that they don't get hey, along. man, you know, some, some I've seen people killed over less. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, and I, I, in this situation, I don't think nobody's going to get killed. So, mm -hmm. like I said, the older guy in me is like, yo, get it together. But the young dude in me is like, you know, I'm entertained. It's fun. Well, I'm entertained. What did the girl say on there? She said, I'm, I'm guilty, guilty of, of being, being entertained. entertained. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> what um, is your favorite show to watch right now? Um, I ain't going to lie. I watch Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a gossip game. Hey. Uh... <laughs> You want to see me fight on there? No, I don't. I actually really like because I don't like. I know I sound old. Like I've you know I've done a lot of shooting. I've done a lot of fights in yeah, my time. Read about but it. I, yeah, I, I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't be. You should be able to get your point across. Like you know, as as a woman, like I don't want to see a woman fight ever. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like to me, that's unattractive. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm waiting for the new Eastbound and Down. Oh, season. I love Eastbound and Down. Um, that's my show. Kenny Powers. Bill Moore. Bill Moore. <laughs> I with him. Is, am I saying his name right? Bill Moore. Bill Moore. Yeah. Moore. <laughs> Moore. Him. I with that never sunny in philadelphia i never ever, seen that yeah that's common that's oh, i'm old man comedy like yeah well, well. <laughs> and curb your enthusiasm oh curb your enthusiasm that's, that's that's not coming back i mean it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't been feel forever. like larry david is so rich i'm still waiting on that nori show though yeah uh nori show mm -hmm. i don't know about a nori show i ain't gonna lie um i don't think reality it don't have to be a reality me. show. I want to do a, I do a scripted show. Like, like, mm -hmm. like I seen Charlamagne, she's taking my shine when Mona was up here. But I'll do something like that. <laughs> or like, cause, but reality, like, I don't want to fight. I, I, I can't. I, I'm not fighting at this point. Mm -hmm. I wasn't fighting. Any, but a reality younger. show does not equal you have to fight. Nah, it's not. But I mean, it, you see, T.I. has it, his show with his family. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too much for me. Lala um, has her show. And it's too, it's, it's too, like, I want to, that, yeah, I want to be in the middle. Like, I would like to be in the middle or something. Like that, I'll T.I. Of course, I love it. It's something like a, um, my kids watch. You know, maybe what you could do something funny like how um, Kevin Hart show. Yeah, I want to do something like that. Word, I want to do something. Like, I got, a, I got an idea uh, or two for something. Now, Nora, we got to talk about your weight. Yeah. One time you were you were huge. Yeah. And you got on your run game and your right. eat healthy game. And now you, medium. Then, then you yeah. lost weight. And now you're back. Like, I'm, I'm medium. I'm medium. medium. Are you yeah, still working out? Like still... Nah, I haven't been. I've been on the road, man. I've been um. You know, live. Uh, Nori at it, one point was like a five X. Yeah, I was. I was. I was a six X at one <laughs> oh, a time. Six X. My I was, was a five X, but I, you know, you would wear six because you wanted baggy. My friends you know was pulling clothes. She was like, "Man, yeah, we gotta yeah, get this guy yeah, a five or a I'm, six X." I'm, I'm, I'm in the two. I'm in the two. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> you don't uh, need a two now. I'm in the two X. Two X. Two X. That's cool. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I go up and down. I'm hip hop's yo yo dieter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, when I'm on the road a lot, I can't really like cater to it and um. But when I'm home in Miami, you could tell because I'm just like the boringest person. Mm -hmm. I just I become addicted to working out and and running and starting. I know challenges. we need to do a new challenge. Yeah, I want to do a new challenge. We yeah. did that running yeah. challenge before, mm -hmm. and yeah. you had the book. Oh, Skinny this is bitch. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I read that. You blowing me up. <laughs> no, <laughs> Nori was Tito inspired. From the, uh, 57 Ave. He, he, he that's runs my too. guy, Tito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He runs too. Yeah, <laughs> but the Skinny Bitch. That's, that's that's I got Skinny Bastard. It's not as good. It's <laughs> up, right? <laughs> that's <laughs> uh, uh, uh. is albums in stores. Yo, yeah, right albums now. in stores. Yeah, Make let's, sure you get talk, it. Let's talk about a couple of songs before I let's leave. Talk right now. Let's, do it, let's talk about it. Let's talk about everything. We else. talked about the Large Professor song. And, mm -hmm. and you're gonna keep this because the last time you had to <laughs> record it with the iPhone, and you did <laughs> after Timberland left, you had to recorded with the iPhone. I said, this is never coming out. You think, think I'm crazy. Word. Yeah, every time Nori came up here, the cameraman was here. We had to record <laughs> right. with an right. iPhone. Nori, right. like, how can I always get this? Well, now we got the real camera. Right, right. So let's talk about the album. Let's talk about the album real quick. Hang, hang. Hang, hang. Uh, that's a skit with Kevin Hart on there. I had kept pause. Uh, what is drunkerer? It's another skit with Kevin Hart. Oh, okay. Um, you know, sometimes you drunk, 
and you could take it to another level. So uh, right. get drunk or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> drunk or yeah, yeah. Mike yeah. Jones, where you find him? Oh, no, that's no, that's, that's Mick Jones, oh, Mick Jones. Oh, from Florida. Mick Jones, you, you know, you know from Florida, the, the, the rock group, the old school rock group. I got, on, I got him on a Spanish guitar on the album. That's a that's a song. Um, <laughs> that is so real. Mike Jones, yeah, that? yeah. Um, well, his son, his son Chris Jones is actually singing on it. Okay. And uh, he played it for his pops, and his pops was like, "Yo, I, I would love to play the Spanish guitar on it." I was like, "Get the." out of here okay. so yeah. I got Mick Jones from Foreign and if you don't know who that is Google it cause it's gonna be like 59 no, pages mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and you got the crew back together the, the camouflage unicorns with- uh yeah uh, uh I got trash I, I I haven't spoken to trash in a long time and I wanted to uh you know restore like the CNN feeling a, a little bit so I uh I, I called uh, well I got the beat first and then Havoc I actually Havoc came to the studio and, and did it in the studio with me there yeah, yeah. that's hilarious yeah. are yeah. you trying to do some Queens project like with everybody no I, I, yo, somebody just offered me a Mob Deep Capone and Noriega project but um, I don't think none of us is going to do it yeah I don't think so either I don't think that's going to happen because Capone <laughs> and, and Prodigy still got a conversation to have or something. I don't really want nothing to do with that, but it's 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 in the air. But there's things I did that, see Prodigy though. We cool. We straight. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's things that happen though, because like you guys might have to, I don't, to I don't, perform I don't, on the I don't same bill. Touch that. But it's all old beef. It's, it's old. Like, saying, that's what I'm saying. saying. It's so old. At the like, end of the day, no at the end of the day, that it imagine was, if y'all could do like a Queen's Day. Yeah. I and mean, everybody come it out. It would be dope. But Queens, like we we we're we're a better with no unity. Like when I look at when I look at L. A. and you see how all the L. A. artists beef with all the LA artists it mm-hmm. reminds me of Queens you know what I'm saying like none of us really get along like I, me I get along with everybody because I'm I'm the dude that I, you know I just want to be drunk and right. you know smoke cigarettes and, and have fun you know what I'm saying and mm-hmm. so I get along with everybody but our borough just has never been like that you right. know what I'm saying or Envy, no. Look, he he's he from Queens. Envy ain't been from Queens in a minute. <laughs> nah. Clue's not our friend right now. You, you should know that. Oh, yeah, right Clue's now. not messing with us. Yeah, Clue's, not, Clue's not messing with us right I'm now. Big up a clue. I seen him the other day. What? Right. Right. All right. Well, Nori, yeah. the album's in stores right now. Student of the game, a.k.a. Papi. Yes, sir. It's yes, the sir. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1.